Muslims do believe that Islam is the culmination of religion. So Muslims believe that Allah has sent Adam, that Allah has sent Noah, that Allah sent Moses, that Allah sent Joseph. All these names that you find in the Old Testament, you'll find them in the Quran. 24 prophets from the Old Testament, Islam subsumes their names into the Quran. So a lot, Islam teaches that it's a culmination of religion. These people all came in order to give to their people certain portions of the truth. And then Muhammad comes as the final messenger in all of history. And he provides the final message, Islam. And so Muslims can build a bridge within their theology. It's appropriate to say that your God is my God. Your prophet, I believe to be a prophet. They can do that. And they'll try to build these bridges of commonality. And the reason they do that is because Muhammad tried to do the same thing according to the historical Muhammad. And I start reading the pages of scripture, encountering this God, and God's pretty awesome. This was a study Bible that my friend David had given me. I would, uh, out of exasperation, I'd say something like, God, how do I know you can even hear me when I pray? And I'd read the footnote, if you want to know that God hears you when you pray, <laughs> turn to 1 John 5. Sweet, boom, thanks. I'd start reading. And so I'm going back and forth within the scripture, and I finally get to Matthew chapter 10. And here's what I read in Matthew chapter 10. He who confesses me before the people of this world I will confess before my Father in heaven. And he who denies me before the people of this world, I will deny before my Father in heaven. You see, I, I had all the evidence, I had all the spiritual guidance through dreams and visions, I had emotional comfort as well through the scripture, but I hadn't confessed. You actually have to confess before the people of this world. Some people will ask me, is there, you know, is the God of Islam, the God of Christianity the same? Um, do Muslims and Christians worship the same God? Uh, that is a charged question. What are you saying when you ask the question, do Muslims and Christians worship the same God? If you are saying that there is one creator of the universe who can hear, who has created Jews, Christians, Muslims, and he can hear all of them when they, when they pray to him, yes, I agree with that. There is one God. But if you're saying that the characteristics of Allah, as Muslims understand him, are the same as the characteristics of Yahweh, as the Christians understand him, then no, not at all. Yahweh is three in one. Yahweh loves his children. We are his children. In the Quran, Allah says, I am not the father of any of you. 